Hello class 6. This is part 1 video of 4th chapter Pure and Mixed Substances. And today we will cover introduction, pure substances and mixtures. So let's start. We have already seen that matter can be living as well as non-living. And that particular non-living has been classified into pure substances and impure substances or mixtures. So now we will study about each of them in a detailed manner. In literature, word substance means a particular kind of matter with similar properties. Thus, a pure substance is the matter which is made up of only one kind of units and no several different kinds of units. And we cannot separate the pure substances easily by physical means. We know that pure substances are those which are homogeneous, that means of same kind, and which are constituted of only one kind of particles. Let's see. So we have a cold piece and a drop of water. Let's see what is inside them. You can see one piece of coal is homogeneous, that is, it has the same constituents throughout, and it is constituted of only one kind of particles, which is the carbon atom. In water droplet, we can only observe the water molecule. This is also homogeneous and it is also constituted of only one kind of particles, which is the water molecules. In both the cases, the particles present are similar, that is, in an element, carbon atom is only present and in compound, only water molecules are present. So, elements and compounds are pure substances. Let's look at some other cases. We have salt and when we observe salt you see that it looks same throughout. So this is homogeneous and it is constituted of only one kind of particle that is NaCl molecule. Similarly the sugar it has the same composition throughout that is sugar molecules and water as you see it looks uniform and it is made up of similar water molecules. So such substances which are homogeneous, homo means same, they have same composition throughout their mass and they are made up of only one kind of particles. Such substances are known as pure substances. Now the properties of pure substances. First property is pure substances have fixed melting and boiling point due to the presence of similar kind of particles. Second is, it has definite specific gravity, that is, the mass of particular solid or liquid. Third is, it has uniform composition, that means it, it is similar to each other. And lastly, it can be separated only by chemical means, that is, by reacting with some other substances or other chemicals. Now, if you see pure written in a container of a ghee, does this mean that it is made up of only one kind of particles? No. Ghee is made up of more than one kind of particles. But when we use it in daily terms, pure means that it does not contain any harmful substances. Chemically speaking, it is impure as it is made up of more than one kind of particles. So do not confuse with this pure with the pure that we use in chemistry. Next is mixtures. When two or more substances mix each other, it results in the formation of mixture. Example, air. Air is a mixture of gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, water, carbon dioxide, argon, etc. Now, the constituents of this air can be obtained as pure gases separately that is oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, argon gas. So the first step that we use while extracting those pure gases are first is cleaning where all the dust particles will be removed. Second step is compressing and cooling. We have seen that when gases are compressed they change their state to liquid form. And the third step is we allow the liquid gases to warm gently and according to the boiling point each gases will be extracted like 
nitrogen will be extracted at minus 196 degrees Celsius, argon at minus 186 degrees Celsius, and oxygen at minus 182 degrees Celsius. Next is characteristics of a mixture. Mixture may present in any proportion, they do not have any definite value. Second is they do not have fixed boiling point and melting point because of more than one kinds of particles present. Third is they can be separated by physical means like using of hands etc. We will come back to this topic later. Now the types of mixtures. There are two types of mixtures that is homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Mixture in which its constituents are distributed uniformly is called homogeneous mixture. Example, salt and water solution. We are mixing salt in a water. After some time, we can see a clear liquid solution where salt and water molecules are evenly distributed, which is also shown in image C. Now, a mixture in which its constituents are not evenly distributed is called heterogeneous mixtures. Example, sand in water. We know that sand will not get dissolved in water, so it remains suspended and it is heterogeneous mixture. 